to complete a goal is even more noble. If you're disabled in Ghana, you are a second-class citizen. Emmanuel's mission is to change perceptions. Emmanuel, what you've done here is an example for these young men and women that the sky is the limit. People in this part of the world believe that when a person is handicapped or disabled, they believe that is a, a punishment from a deity. Maybe when I share my story or what I want to do with them, maybe they can say, good, what you are bringing is a very good idea. The Challenge Athlete Foundation gets grant requests every year. In that grant request, he asked for a bicycle to ride across Ghana and prove a stereotype wrong. Who thinks that way? And it's almost like Forrest Gump, where you see this guy starting running across country and all of a sudden thousands of people are following. So he has transformed so many people. You see the smiles on their faces, and you can imagine what goes on in their hearts. I believe he's not going to limit his influence to just Ghana. He's going to spread his message to the rest of the world. An incredible athlete who's done extraordinary, extraordinary things. Handicapped people have lots of talent and lots to offer. So your voice will be an important Thank voice. You. Don't say, oh my God, thank God I'm not like him. Say, oh my God, perhaps I could be more like him. This is the story of Emmanuel Ofosu Yeboa, who had nothing but gave everything and changed a nation forever. 